This is a brief run through of the Earth Explorer interface, how you could go about doing a search. We all have our own methods and you guys are becoming fairly skilled working with this. Um, you're in your second activity working with this now, but uh, I, I wanted to uh, just show you just quickly how I would do something on here. So for instance, if I wanted to do a quick search someplace I'm interested in, Perhaps <clears throat> here's Cape Canaveral, where you know, a lot of the NASA launches take place from. And you can see I have the search criteria tab checked. And I pick a coordinate. You can see the coordinate records here. Uh, you can also, there's other, other ways to define where searches take place. You can either um, upload a shape file or a KML file. Uh, but I'm just going to use a single coordinate here. And uh, after you have your search criteria set there, uh, and uh, you, there are some additional criteria you can set. Also, you can set your result options here and set it up to 25,000 scenes. That's a bit much. Uh, I'm going to go to 5,000 just to make sure I get everything that I that I want. You can set date ranges here fairly easily um, with embedded you know, calendar widgets and so on. Um, and also, uh, you know, there's a number of ways for setting other other criteria. Uh, you can set, and again, I would do this after picking a data set. So I'm going to pick a data set. And in this instance, I'm going to pick a, um, I'm going to pick the uh, Sentinel. Sentinel is a satellite. It's kind of like the European Landsat. Uh, it's the um, uh, from the European Space Agency, which is based within the European Union. The thing that um, that uh, the uh, United Kingdom is leaving, uh, Britain is leaving in Brexit. So the Euro European Union has a space agency. They do quite a lot. France, you know, is their principal launch. Um, launching country, the country that launches satellites mostly. Uh, Italy's heavily involved. Uh, Spain and uh, the United Kingdom was heavily involved. I'm not sure how that's going to work after Brexit. But when you select Sentinel, you know, you can get some information on Sentinel just by uh, selecting the, you know, get, get a little background on, um, on Sentinel. So Sentinel is, uh, you know, it's a really interesting project, multispectral um, satellite. You can see the central wavelengths. These are in nanometers, so you can see they're in the visible near and mid infrared. And then um, also there are, uh, you know, so it has a central wavelength and then a bandwidth, so you can figure out the exact limits of each of these channels. You can see there are about um, you know, 12, 13 channels here that you can take a look at. And you can also see they're at different resolutions. So if you want to construct composites, relatively high resolution composites, so here at 10 meters, um, at 10 meter resolution, you're getting nine pixels for every single Landsat pixel. So it is capable of much higher resolution uh, imagery with the three visible channels. And you can see these are in the visible part of the spectrum. And the, um, there's one out here in the near infrared. So you can make some pretty nice color composites, high resolution color composites at 10 meter resolution with Sentinel. So it is very useful, also useful for land cover classification. And they have a different system for um, tiling these things. They put them in uh, tiles that fit um, more or less the map grid, which is, you know, kind of kind of handy, I think, for um, many uses. So going back to our um, our Earth Explorer window, we select our data, selected our data set. Uh, we may want to set some additional criteria. Um, and you know, you have some that are special for um, Sentinel. But you know, the, the thing that I always like to do is to cut my the number of scenes I have to look down a look at with um, by setting the um, 
setting the uh, uh, cloud cover. You can see I've set it down to uh, less than 10%. So you're going to get all pretty good quality images here. And these are going to be tiled images, as you'll see um, in just a moment. Uh, so we've got that done. We're, I think we're set at um, around, you know, up to 5,000 scenes, which is going to get everything, I think. And we simply look at our results, and you'll get all of your uh, scene tiles set up here, much like you would with Landsat. You can see we got 102. They're all pretty high quality, and uh, I like to look at them as an, a browse using browse overlay um, by you know seeing exactly what, whether I've got the coverage that I need. This looks like a nice scene, and this is a uh, fairly uh, <laughs> recent one. This one's from January 29th of 2019. Uh, you can see it has nice coverage of the Cape. Um, I'm going to download that. And so you can see you can get the tile in JPEG format or you can get a full resolution browse in GeoTIFF format. Uh, so there's, um, you know, there are, there are a number of options here. Uh, in, in this instance, it doesn't look like we can get a full scene. We'll take a look at that later, though. But that's how I would go about, you know, doing a search and downloading a different data set from Landsat. This is the Sentinel, um, uh, European Space Agency Sentinel satellite, uh, Sentinel-2 uh, satellite that um, is, we have a really nice sharing agreement with the European Space Agency um, just between NASA and the ESA.